Today we're going to change an electric brake on a uh, three-phase motor. Um, so what we're going to do is go through the tools first. We will need a 9 16 uh, combo wrench, a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, a set of Allen wrenches, a wire stripper, uh, wire crimpers, a couple crimps, and a rubber mallet to do this job. I have these on here like this right now, but basically this will be hooked up to a gear head. So what we want to do is go ahead, pretend this is the top of the gear head. We're going to loosen up all these four bolts here. And we'll take these nuts and lock washers off. So that, that'll loosen up this here, so this here will come off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, undo this wiring. Um, when the wire goes into the electrical box, it's going to be wired up to the uh, high voltage on this uh, electric brake. If the wire bypasses this box, that means it's going to be low, wired low voltage. So make sure you wire, even though you have 230, it's still going to be wired uh, uh, for high voltage. And if it's 460, it's going to be wired for high voltage. And I'll explain to that as we hook this back up. But now I'm going to take my crimpers and take these off. Sometimes they don't come off and you just have to cut the wires. Okay, so that's all loose. We loosen this up, pull this off. Okay, now the brake can come off. You just, if it doesn't come off, use a rubber mallet. Just use a rubber mallet, tap it right there and break it loose. And there's another spot on the other side, it'll do the same thing, but that'll come right off. Okay. Okay. So you can see this is the inside of the brake here. Now you can notice that this, this is, uh, uh, the, the actually when you get a new brake, it's gonna come with a, uh, a little gear. It's gonna be smaller than this one. Um, what we found is they're made out of pot metal and they break. So what you wanna do is uh, when you buy one from us, get the modified brake version and it comes with a steel gear. Um, and we paint this red so it goes up. And we designed this gear so it's longer than the other ones. So when you drop it down, you can drop it down all the way onto the, the motor shaft and it's set for you. We did all the calculations, so there's no guesswork where it needs to be set. So you put the key on there, you line the key up with the, uh, with the keyway, and you bring it down. And then what you're going to need is an eighth inch Allen wrench. And you want to tighten it down. And this one here is going to tighten against the keyway. So you're going to trap both the keyway so it won't come out. And also the uh, shaft. And then we also have another key on the opposite side. We'll tighten that one down. Okay, that's tight. So that's all nice and tight. Keyways there. Um, and then you want to make sure that your, your brake here, it, all these teeth are lined up, which they are. And this here part here where you have this little uh, flat spot, that's going to go where the key goes here. Okay. So I'm going to set this back on. This is the new brake. Okay. We're going to put it back on. I had to line it up a little bit here. Get the first one. Second, there it goes. And what you can do is you can take this off too, okay? And then this is gonna have to line up and sometimes they don't line up quite right. You have to turn it a little bit. Okay, that one went on. Okay, now if it doesn't go on and you're struggling getting it on, it doesn't line up just right, what you can do is on the back side, there's a release for the brake. And basically you turn, you take your screwdriver, your flathead screwdriver, turn it up so this is push this up. Now you can go in here, you can move your plates around. It's all loose, so you can move them around so you can get it to fit that keyway and the, uh, the spider gear and it all fits together, okay? And when you're done, um, if you left it on, it's no big deal. Um, the first time you turn it on, it'll shut off and it'll be back to the lock position. So now that's locked. Now, go through here. And actually, I just took this off one on the machine, so. Okay. 
I'll explain to you how to wire this here. Um, so basically there's four wires that come out of the coil back here and they're numbered one, two, three, and four. And you can see there's a number one there, number two, number three, and number four. And what we do is um, we tie two of them together and it's generally uh, number uh, two and three, which we'll see here. Right. Yep, two and three right here. And then um, one of the wires coming from the coil, so two and three from the coil get wired together. And then um, the black one that comes from here is gonna go to either one or to uh, uh, four, and the other one's gonna go to the opposite. So doesn't matter which one. So you're gonna tie it to one and four for high voltage. Now, if you get stuck and not sure if it's high voltage or low voltage, grab my screwdriver again here. Underneath this plate here, if you look in here, right on this end here, um, and you can see it better, but there's, there's low voltage where you're gonna, um, two and three are gonna get tied together, and, and one and four, and then actually high voltage, two gets going to your leads on your, going to your motor, and four, and two, or one and, one and three get tied together. So that's how they did this. One and three get tied together for high voltage, two and four go out to the uh, motor voltage. Okay, so now we got that taken care of. Now you, you can tie wrap it like we did here, and I didn't bring any tie wraps with me, sorry about that, but I would tie wrap it. Just make sure that this wire doesn't get down there in the brake, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna leave it there for now, I'll fix it later. And then on the back side here, there's a key here, okay? That key needs to match up with this key on this shaft. So I always put the key well, this one here is pointed right to me. So if you look here, the key here matches the key here. So when we put this back on, again, you just have to be nice and gentle with it and it will come together. There it goes. And then it gets down to a certain point like this where it won't stop. So now I got to turn it. There it goes. Now it's back on. So this lined up with that. So it's all back together here nice and tight and I like to do the wiring before I put this cover on because now you got that to work with so that's how I do that put the cover take the cover off wire it, and then put it on and then we'll tighten this back up and I'll just tighten it up just snug for now and then once you put it on your gear head you can tighten it up the rest of the way okay so just just to hold it together until you get it up there and as you can see, I did this a little bit wrong, but that's okay. I didn't get this lined up there, but it doesn't matter. So now the wire is coming back in here. Um, what I'm going to do is strip these out. So we have number two. And let's see, I can't read that one. There's seven. Seven and one should always go together. That's one there. So I got seven and one. This is going to be a low voltage motor. Twist those together and I'm just going to grab one of those two wires coming from the brake. It doesn't matter which one. Put them together. Take my crimp and we'll crimp it up. Okay, that one's done. And then, by, and then the other one has to go to eight. It, I know it sounds weird, but you go, uh, you put it on number eight is what you want to do with that second one. And that'll always give you a low, uh, high voltage, but in, uh, for the brake, but it's always, if you measure between seven and eight, don't matter if you have 460 or 230, you're always going to get 230 volts. Um, so that's how the windings are on these motors. So we just tie it to number seven and just remember seven and eight on the motor go to the brake for high voltage. Okay, so we got that done. We got that done. Put the cover back on, dust cover, and you just, just bring this around. Something's not lining up right. There it goes, and it's on. And that's your, uh, that's your brake wired to your motor. 
and your motor or your brake's been replaced. Um, if you have any questions when you're doing this, feel free to call um, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Just call 1-800-553-5825 and just ask for someone in service and we'll be more than happy to help you with it. And then just remember, if you can't get that plate to line up when you set it on, release that brake and that'll help you, okay? A lot of people struggle with it and they don't know what it is and that's nine times out of 10, that's all you need to do is release that brake. Okay, have a good day, good luck, and we'll be talking to you.